Hi, and welcome to Brems to Puzzles, and back to the World Puzzle Federation 2015 Round 6, set by the Czech Republic Constructors. This puzzle was set by Jakub Razdira. Um, again, I don't know the pronunciation on that one. I'm really sorry that I'm butchering it. Um, this was a 45-point non-consecutive Sudoku. Um, so I discussed the points values back on the first puzzle in this set, the Classic Sudoku Volume 1. So if you're interested in how they work, you can go check out that video. Um, what I'm going to do with this one is get straight onto the rules after saying in the um, description below, you'll find a link to this puzzle as well as to the entire World Puzzle Federation archive. Let's have a look at the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. And then shares, cells sharing an edge cannot contain digits differing by one, which is why they cannot be consecutive. So these four cells, for example, could not contain eight because the, um, eight is only one different from nine and you cannot have shares cells that are sharing an edge, shares, shares, share, she sells, she shall, spy the cell, sure. Um, <laughs> anything that is sharing an edge, which is a long um, end, not a diagonal point, um, cannot have a difference of one. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, the most powerful thing here, I think, is this, because a one and a three would be consecutive with two, and I can't put them in those cells. So these have to be one and three. And that means now six can't go in any of those cells. So six goes here. Um, five I've got, so that's not doing any more. Oh, but I can't put the six next to the five. So this is the six. This is now a triple. I've got one, two, three. I can't put four next to the five. So this becomes the four. So one, two, three, four, five, six. These are seven and eight. And I'm not seeing what to do there. Now, I can't put two next to one, which is a lot less powerful because it just means two goes in one of those. But I can't put six or eight next to the seven. This box was way more powerful. What about up here? Well, I can't put five in any of those and I can't put five there. So five is in one of those two and that five is looking up saying not there. So this is the five. I can't put seven in any of those. I can't put four in any of those or there. Now you've got to remember the non-consecutive rule isn't just within a box as well. So I can't put five in any of those cells or there. Five is in one of those two. That was just normal Sudoku and I didn't need to use any form of non-consecutive for that. What are these four digits? These are two, four, six, and eight, because these are all of the evens. Now I can't put a two or an eight there. So this is a four or a six. So two and eight are in here. Now there's no two here. There's no four here, but these are all even, which gives me the freedom for these to basically be in any order. There's no four here and there's no six here because a six would be consecutive with the five that must go in one of those two cells. So this is a two or an eight but the evens aren't really disposed in any way, shape, or form. I know four is in one of those. Hmm. Three isn't there, so it's in one of those. Six. Uh, four and six are in those. So what can these be? Well, three is in one of those two. Huh. Eight can't go next to seven and eight can't go next to nine. So eight is in one of those two and eight can't be there. This is an eight. Now I can't put two or four in any of those cells. Can't put two or four in any of those cells. So four is in one of those two. Which means that can't be five, but five has to be in one of those two by Sudoku. But if I put five here, there's no four in this box. That's not the five, that's the five, which puts five up here. But where's six now? Six isn't in any of those or there or there because six would be next to seven if I put it there. Seven in this box? No, maybe, don't know, could be. 
Two in this column. Two can't go here, it'd be next to three. Two is, can't go in the box. So two is in one of those two. Which puts two down here, but it can't go next to three. So two is in one of those two. Now, is that doing anything with ones? Because, no, uh, no. Six is in one of those two, because I can't put six in any of those, but the four is already placed, so the five isn't doing as much work. What is the trick Brimster is missing? That's the trick Brimster is missing. Two can't go in any of those two cells or any of those cells, and this two is seeing that. Two can't be consecutive for three, it can't be consecutive one, it can't be that, and that's already a seven. That's a two. So I can't put one in any of those cells. So one is in one of those two, and that one looks up. This is a one. This is a triple now. Four, five, and six. Now I can't put six next to seven. I can't put four next to three. Four in this column has to be in one of those two because I can't put it next to three and that's already Caesar four. So it's in one of those two. And it can't be there because of the pointing fours here. That is a four and this is a five, six pair. So five is not in any of those now. Five is in one of those two and th because five can't be consecutive with four and that sees a five and this five sees that one. Lots of hidden singles in this puzzle. So these are not one, two, three, four, five. They're six, eight, and nine. Now there's no non-consecutive tricks so far about forcing digits apart, but I might find one. If I see one, I'll explain what I mean by that trick. Seven in this box now can't be there or there. It's in one of those two. Nine in this box. Right, where's the seven and nine? I can't put seven or nine there. I can't put seven or nine there, and I can't put seven or nine there. This is a seven, nine pair, which is displacing that three, making that a three, and this is a four or a six, and the five, six is looking across, making that the four and that the six. That's cool. So there's no six in either of those. Two, eight pair means that's the four. So three in this column is now in one of those two and it can't go next to the four. That's the three, which puts three right here in the corner. Raise a glass to freedom. For some reason, the celebration has turned itself off again. I'm not upset by that, but okay. Um, one is in one of these cells. Yeah, I don't think I need to pencil mark that yet. Nine in this. Seven is in one of those two. I'm, I'm loving this one. This was a good fun puzzle. Four, right, four is in one of those two by Sudoku because of these, but with this three, that's not the four. This is the four. Two isn't in any of those. So two is in one of those three. Where's two in this row? Yeah, where's two in this row? It's in one of those two. Because I can't put it here next to one or here next to three. And I can't put six in any of those. 
And I can't put six there, so six is in one of those two. Maybe possible if you just pencil marked everything, a whole bunch of stuff would jump out and become incredibly clear. But I'm not seeing it. I can see this can't be an eight because that would be consecutive with whatever that is. So eight in this column is in one of those two cells. This is seven or nine because one, seven, eight, nine in the column, but that's a one or an eight. So that's a seven, nine pair. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are a five, six pair, which means one of those is six. So that can't be a seven. That's a nine, which means that's the seven, that's the nine. But this is a five, six pair now, and that can't be a five. That's the six, that's the five. The six and the six means this isn't the six, this is the six, because that couldn't be a six because of the five. Oh, the four is right here. That's been there for a very long time. The four can't be consecutive with the three. That's the one, that's the three. Maybe I just got that. I don't think so. I think that's been there for ages and I was just completely oblivious. But this is now a triple. This is not a five. These are one, three, and seven. Now I can't put seven next to eight, and there's already a one in the column. That's the three, this is a one, seven. Not seeing that. But this is now two or eight for the column, and I can't put eight next to seven. That's the two, that's the eight, that's the two. I can't put one next to two, so that's the seven, that's the one. The seven looks like making that the eight and that the seven. This is now completing a column with an eight. So these are one and nine, and there's no non ah, there's no non consecutive, but there's a one already in the grid. I already have my one. I already have my one. So five, sorry, six, seven, and eight are what is ne needed to complete this row. And there's a six and an eight looking down, making that the seven. So I can take the seven out of those. Not seeing a non consecutive rule helping me there. One is not in any of those. What are these three digits? Let's put them in. They're two, I've got three, four, five, six, seven, two, eight, and nine. Now that can't be a two because it'd put it next to a three. That can't be an eight, it would put it next to a seven, and it can't be a nine. That is the two. Right, fine. The six and the nine are looking across, making that the eight. So I can take eight out of both of those. This is a triple now. But where do I put one in this row? Forget the triple. I can't put one there and I can't put one next to two. This is a one. And now I'm down to a pair, which includes a four, which I can't put next to a three. This is the four. And this is the seven that hasn't been placed. Not leaping out at me as what to do next. Two is in one of those two. Three. Three and three puts three in one of those two, but that three says not there. So that is a three. One is in one of those two, isn't it? Now by Sudoku. And where's four in that box? I can't put four next to either five or three. I can't put four in any of those. Four is in one of those two, which means this isn't the four and this is the four. And now there's a pair in this column. One, I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One and nine. I don't see it yet. But it'll happen. May not happen overnight, but it will happen. 
Okay. I'm not sure if I want to look at row two or row nine. Let's look at row two. I've got one, five, seven, and nine to place. Well, this isn't the four. This is the four. And this isn't an eight. So this is a one, nine pair in the row. That'll do everything. That's the eight. Well, it won't do everything, but it makes that a nine, which makes that a one, which looks up making that nine and that one. And these are two, six, and eight. And I can't put eight next to nine. I can't put six next to five. I think that's as far as I take that. But now in this row, five and seven, and I can't put five next to four. That's the seven, that's the five, which looks down making that the six and that the five. So these are two, six, and nine. There's a six here already. There's a nine here already, and I can't put the six next to the seven. So that's the two, that's the nine, that's the six. The six looks down, making that the nine. This is a six, eight to complete the column, but I can't put six next to five. That's the eight, that's the six, making that the eight, which makes that the two, which makes that the six. The digits I haven't placed in the box yet does include a two, so let's write in the two, and then I just need to put in a seven, and that will complete the puzzle. 45 point puzzle, 15 minutes. I'm pretty happy with that too. As I said, world champions would do it in under five minutes. People who are competitive would do it in under nine. I'm not one of them. And I will never be, I know I keep saying this all the time, but I just want to reiterate to people because I keep being told, it's like, how can a professional be so slow? I do get those messages a lot. It's like, I don't consider myself a professional solver. I'm a hobbyist who's just trying to share puzzles with people. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series and as always, good luck with your solving.